the, uh, the Darwin 3 study, which is the week 156 data you referred to, is really the extension of the phase 2 uh, program for filgotinib and rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, but we're actually demonstrating or showing a lot of data in the context also of the Finch program, which is the phase 3 program that uh, had three uh, trials en enrolling about 3,300 patients across the spectrum of uh, treatment experience for patients from methotrexate naive to methotrexate inadequate responders to, to biologic inadequate responders. The great thing about the Darwin 3 study um, is that uh, it was uh, an extension of a large uh, phase 2 program that Galapagos conducted in rheumatoid arthritis with filgotinib. And so it's enabled us to see um, results, uh, long-term results in patients uh, from, uh, from that program. And what we're reporting today is the uh, week 156 data. But uh, that study continues, and uh, we now have patients um, out to beyond five years of treatment as well. So uh, I think that's a, a really great attribute of the program that Galapagos conducted in phase two, and it enables us to, uh, to file um, for approval with a fairly large long-term data set in a, on top of our phase three program. I think the key takeaways from um, the Darwin 3 study are a couple things. One is that the safety profile that we've observed uh, over time has continued to hold true, and particularly when you look at things that um, are captivating interests now, such as uh, deep venous thrombosis and thromboembolism uh, with JAK inhibitors, but also serious infection rates and uh, herpes zoster uh, reactivation rates as well, too all of which we think uh, show a very good profile and are supportive of the data that we have in our phase three programs.